Hello, my dear students. In this video, we will be discussing about a program, a Python program, uh, which will be helps in computing the integral, the numerical integral of an arbitrary function using trapezoidal rule. This is a program which was written by me. So it's an easy program if you know and if you understand the steps which is required in the trapezoidal rule. So in the case of trapezoidal rule, you have to integrate a function f on some interval in this interval integral a to b f of x dx so and for that we will divide that into sub intervals i1 i2 etc i n or panels and sum the this sum the values of the function at each end points and compute the approximate value of the integral this is the step and here we have defined an h which is actually b minus a divided by n where n is the number of panels or intervals which is required and if x0 is equal to a and xn is equal to b then x1 is a plus h and x2 is a plus 2h, x3 is a plus 3h, etc. xn minus 1 is a plus n minus 1 into h. So keep in mind how we construct x size. Keep in mind how we have computed h. And keep in mind the expression, the final expression for the trapezoidal rule. These things are three things are essential. In the case of trapezoidal rule. So moving on to the program. So in order to define an integral on some specific interval, we first have to enter the endpoints of the interval. This is what uh, is defined in this input section, which is a is equal to enter the first point of the interval and b is the second point of the interval. So n is the number of iteration. There's a mistake. Number of iteration which is required in the trapezoidal rule. So while we are running this program, uh, the when the output comes, they will ask what will be your uh, the first point of the interval and what will be your second point of the interval. How many number of steps or how many sub intervals you needed? Or how many iterations you needed then they will give the final answer and this is an input section now we have to convert this into numericals so a is a float variable b is a float variable and n is an integer because it is the number of iterations so it should be an integer uh, in general positive integer so i am importing a package math because usually if you do not do this only the built-in functions such as polynomials and some other built-in functions will calculated will be evaluated without importing the math by, by importing the math package you can actually calculate trigonometry functions exponential function other functions so in general our integrand is not general a polynomial so it should be any other functions so it is better if you import the math package so that the python program can read uh, any functions which is defined in this in this program so i prefer if you import math in this case i am trying to find the integral of sin x in the interval 0 to pi so in order to python to read sin x it is required that i call the package math so that's why i imported math here next is i am trying to define the function f of x 
So this is the function or integrand which is going to be integrated. And you you need the function. I have so I have already told you I want to integrate the sin x, the function sin x. So it should be written as math or sin x. So I call the function sin x from the package math. Now we are going on to the steps in the trapezoidal rule. First thing you have to define is the variable h, which is b minus a divided by n. And also keep in mind in this expression, here the final part is h by 2. Okay. And in all the sums, you will always get f of x0 plus f of xn. Here x0 is a and xn is b. In all the sum, you will get f of a plus f of b. So that's why I have defined the initial sum as f of a plus f of b. So keep that in mind. I have defined a function trapezoid which depends upon the variables a, b, comma n which we have already defined. I am going to define h as b minus a divided by n and s as f of a plus f of b and the thing which i am going to do is our first interval is a b now we divide that sub interval, interval into some sub interval by introducing a point x1 then x2 then x3 then x4 etc in all those cases you have to add 2 into the value of the function 2 into the value of the function to the sum and multiply that by h by 2 then we get the required sum so for that i will define a loop that is for i is in the range 1 to n the reason i have defined n is i have to calculate up to n minus 1 and the function range is always of the form closed open interval so that's why I choose 1 to n. Now I have to define the points x, the new x. x1 is a plus 1 into h. x2 is a plus 2 into h. x3 is a plus 3 into h, etc. xn minus 1 is a plus n minus 1 into h. That's in general, x should be equal to a plus i into h. And the sum s should be the original sum which is defined as f of a plus f of b plus 2 into f of x for every x a plus i into h. Now we have defined the sum this this sum okay in the case of python program. Now we have to multiply it by h into 0.5. So our integral should be of the form 0.5 star h star s s is the uh, sum which is in the bracket which i have already told you so this is the program and now you should get an input of the form the integral is of the form this the point 9 determines that it should be approximated up to nine digits and the integral is of this form in this part after the percentage you should write the answer of this integral integral is what is this integral means should be writing as the output then we call the function trapezoid a b n now let's run our program so in this program we will be asking about zero the first point you will be asking about the second point usually the second point is pi and keep in mind that our sin x is in radians and we haven't defined pi in the program. So you cannot write pi as such. So you should be better to approximate pi in the case of numericals. Then only you get the required answer. So I will write the approximate value of pi as 3.14151. Oh, 3.1415 number of iterations i will write the iteration number of iterations as 64 let's say this is a, actually a problem which is defined on our textbook and the answer is 1.999 8408 
this is the answer to our problem which is integral of sin x on the interval super to pi so which is somewhat similar to the answer which is given in the textbook i think it is here yes in this problem i think problem 6.2 in the case of 16 panels 8 panels the integral should be in between 1.97423 and 2.201460 in the case of 16 and 8 panels actually in this case i have defined 64 panels so this is a simple program to compute uh, the trapezoidal rule in the case of n panels or composite trapezoidal rule now my question to you should be what will be the program to write the recursive trapezoidal rule there is a some difference in the case of recursive trapezoidal rule uh, the number of panels should be a multiple of 2 so you have to adjust the number in terms of 2 raised to k minus 1 or 2 raised to k minus 2 that is a problem which is for you i hope you understood this thing you can write several programs for this uh, you can uh, there is a lot of programs which is available in the net you can search this is a simple program if you find any uh, any mistakes in this program please contact me and we can manage and we can adjust the base thing is how you know how to write this whole thing that's what i want to convey to you i hope you understood thank you